up out of the body of the turkey. Sitting here having me a smoke. Uh, this light sucks. Very much like, there we go. Uh, I want everybody to know I've been clean and sober for approaching two months now. And life couldn't be no, no better. Couldn't be no better at all. Uh, me and my son, you know, all we do is when he's in, we're not here for a second. I was condemned for my son, it seemed like, you know. That's what bothered me the most about that whole situation is I couldn't be with my son, you know, for other things going on. And, you know, and with that addiction, it don't help. I'll tell you that right now. I'll be the first to tell you. You know, addiction is a mother effer. You know, if I can do it, anybody can do it, guys. Come on, man. Look how I'm labeled around this world. Dirty, 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 you know what I mean? Well, uh, guess what? Dirty's able to stay clean and remain clean. Just piss test again yesterday. Okay. I go to groups three times a week. I go to volunteer groups. I go to NA afterwards also. This just ain't about something, you know, that happened. That this, whatever they're trying to say happened. Because that was all a, a fugazi. I ain't gonna speak on that. And... What I'm proud of is my recovery and where I've grown, you know. I'm not the same darky you guys used to look at on here. I promise you. Oh, yeah. I've done put my weight back up on me, you know. All that good stuff. My mind's focused. It's, it's I mean, it's no more, I want to smoke a joint or I want to do this or that, you know. It's just like, fuck. All that shit did was put me in jail. At the end of the day. And where's your friends at when you're in jail, guys? They ain't nowhere. I had people running GoFundMes in my name and keeping people's money. We know who did that. They do it again. You know what I mean? And that just shows what kind of people they are. How long has it been since you've seen Darky get on here and make a video even? I just want the world to know, you know, who I am and what I'm doing. I'm not some, what you used to label me as because you was completely wrong then also. You know, I was never a heroin addict. I was never a meth addict. Get your shit right, you know. I have problems with other things. And it was neither, neither one of those things. And I'm the kind of guy I can admit that straight and foremost because I spent 29 months in a long-term inpatient rehab lockdown facility before you know and i see these videos online well i don't see them i hear about them with my mug shots things like that the, uh they won't be coming to an abrupt end you know soon as soon as the next let's see what is today the thursday that'll come in effect Thank you, Kent. Thank you for the support, you know. That's the biggest thing right there, guys, is having support. You know, if anybody has any problems with drugs right now, please contact me. It's, it's all confidential. Ain't nobody calling the police on you, trying to get you put in jail. That's the last thing that, you know, like my recovery place that I'm going to is the last thing they want you in jail. They want help, you know. And like I told the lady, it's just ain't court order. This is darky ordered as well. Because I take groups, four different groups that I'm not even supposed to be in. But I take them, you know, because they help pass the time. They also give me a su good support group. Uh, that's people that I can call out on when I, I feel like I'm going to, you know, relapse or something like that. The only thing I do is smoke cigarettes. And I'm trying to quit them now. Yeah, Courtney, I've heard people say, you sound so good, Derky. You look so good. You know, now it's time to graduate on to my other looks, you know, turn back to a real man. And let everybody hate on that, you know, because that's all they'll ever do. Because the YouTube, I'm shutting down. And then once they use your name off of that, then that just goes to show you it's slander. You know, that's ridiculous. I went on their National Looks, you know, to see how many 
you know, videos, views do get, what, 800 to 1,000 views compared to a million views on one of mine. <laughs> I mean, come on. Hundreds of thousands of views on that one, I know for sure, of mine. But I'm not about YouTube. One step at a time, one minute at a time, you know what I mean? One hour at a time to one day at a time just for today. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things that I can, the wisdom to know the difference just for today. You know, that's all I need it for is today. Thank you, Kimberly. Oh, yes, bigger and better things, sweetheart, yes. You know, I was cleaning out my, you know, and everything. I told my son where I was on bond, I couldn't go hunting with him. I told him where to go, you know. he come back with his first buck. You're talking about the most exciting dad in the world. And I cried. I jumped up and down. I mean, it was just something that you, you'll never take from me and him, you know. That was probably one of the best moments since the day my son was born we had together. Well, Courtney and Lane, I'll tell you what, there's, I'm going to start doing a podcast. And if you want to, you know, help fund that and everything, because what we're doing is a funding thing behind it. Not no scamming, no, whatsoever. Uh, that way we can get it going. That way we can get episode two out to you guys. Uh, if you, a lot of people tell me they can listen to me, you know. Just talk about things of how my life's went and things like that all day long of what a poverty that we've lived through and you know how we you know I always say here's my motto if you're down in a hole and somebody's throwing dirt on your back you're gonna sit there and keep letting them cover you up you're gonna shake it off and take a step up because I'm gonna take a shake I'm gonna shake it off and take a step up and one day they're gonna be looking me dead in the face to clean me and that's what they're doing right now <clears throat> yeah, my son's wanted me to do stand-up comedy, radio, a few different things. Uh, it's just how I have to speak of nothing but the truth, you know. The truth is what set us free. You know, the truth, I'm being lied on. And I can, you know, I have, listen to this, guys, I have 10 to 15 witnesses. And five of them's character. That don't mean family. This was all done, so how can I donate to the podcast calls? Uh, right now, I just now was able to get my cash app unlocked because when I went to jail, they thought they could take all my money out there, and they did. They took $3,700. That's okay. I would have been out of jail a long time before I was, but they took my money, you know. Uh, Courtney and Lane, I'll have to send you a thing to where you donate towards. Or just send it towards the podcast, uh, the Cash App, because we have a podcast thing there also. Uh, it's run through Anchor. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can catch it on Spotify uh, monthly now on uh, Apple also. And then we're going to go ahead and get the donation up where we can go ahead and run it on every platform, Google, podcasting, anything like that. That way we can get this took care of. You see what I mean? Bear, watch out. I might scam you. I'm just letting everybody know how I'm doing, Kaiser, man. Two months clean. Different kind of guy now. Different kind of guy. Completely, brother. I didn't mean to cuss you at time and stuff. That was drugs. That's what they do. That's exactly what they do. They caused me to cuss one of my best friends out right here. Over a bunch of stupid stuff when he was trying to actually help me, man. And I wasn't seeing that. I was seeing what I wanted to see. Recovery, it's about, you ain't heard the first episode? It's called Outlaw Your Podcast. Live, raw, real, and uncut with Dirty. You can watch it, you know. I mean, listen to it now. And then we're going to bring on, once we get the donations right, like I said, we're going to go ahead and make it where you can watch it live at the same time. And we're going to bring on audience, you know, people, and I'll, you know, in the audience, but... Oh my goodness. Oh man. We're going to bring people live onto the show, you know. They 
interview, things like that, you know, uh, famous people, uh, of course, always, you know, it might not be humongous famous people, but we're going to get who we can get, and, you know, I'm going to start doing some podcasting with another company there and stuff. That's right, that's right, that's right, sweetheart, that's right, 100%, they'll tell you if it's harsh truth, it's the truth, because the truth's hard to swallow, the, pro the problem is, is people can't admit their problems, sweetheart, the last three girls I've been with is that major problem, they cannot admit they have a drug problem, they cannot admit that they need to seek help for that drug problem, the first thing I see is, I mean, yeah, I, I have a son I would never lose over somebody I knew for about four months that come off only fans or something you know what I mean there's no way no way and she was a replacement wasn't even supposed to be in the girl that came to me like I told people you can buy these bitches off the internet and that's for real I can buy them to be in any music video if I want anything you see what I mean money talks bullshit walks that's all they want you know, that's that's all they want. I promise you, it, it's money. And girls like that, you know, they're seeking money. They think iPods and Apple and iPads and this shit control the world. You need to wake up and realize, when you're clean sober, you can't live a no better life. Amen, Courtney. See, she. I like how this girl speaks. No one woman will ever take the love of your mother nor replace the love of your child. No woman. I mean, I've loved so hard. I was in love with a girl in Virginia. You know what I mean? I mean, so hard it was unreal. I had to walk away. I didn't walk away. I knew it was just going to turn badder and badder because we was involved in drugs, you know? So I decided to get myself clean. You see what I mean? And my kids and my everything, you know? And if I had a daughter, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what I mean? You better watch out. You mess with that little girl, you be woo 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 And uh, I just, you know what I mean, have so much love still for her daughter, and she knows it, too, you know, because, you know, she used to call me Daddy Derek, things like that, you know, that, that sticks with you for, for a long time, you know, and I, I will love that child to the day I die. Thank you, Shelby. Yeah, I've got my weight back up. I'm almost back to 170-some pounds, guys. When I used to get on here before, you know what I weighed? 150, 152, something like that. See what I mean? Now I'm back to 170. You see what I mean? I was trying to keep weight on me, but the drugs was just eating it away. You see what I mean? And I have no problem admitting that I had that drug problem, that I'm defeating that drug problem one day at a time. One day at a time. If any, I can help anybody. If I can help any of you guys, please, please, please give me a message. Send me something. You know what I mean? It's all confidential. Nobody will know your name. No, you even reach out to me. Even if you're dealing with... uh. You're close to Boone County, Logan County, anywhere like that. Let me tell you something. My buddy runs the MAT program, okay? That's a bus where they'll run, you know what I mean? That's right, Courtney. Amen, sweetie. You're knowing it. You're knowing it. But uh, they run that, you know, in each county. Each week they're there, and they'll write you 14 suboxins to stay off of that nasty shit, you know, just to even help you that way. They'll write them to you, and you can go straight to the pharmacy behind you, get them filled. You see what I mean? See? What Shelby just, Morgan just said, Matt is a lifesaver. That's my buddies, you know what I mean? My brother's buddies that's in prison with, that recovered, that run this thing, guys. We're tired of seeing our friends die. That's just all there is to it. You can walk right on there, and you get Narcan that, you know, just keep, you need to help your friend. Or you can get on there and you get on a program. You can pee one time a week as long as you ain't got nothing in your system. You know what I mean? The MAT program helps a fucking tremendously. Look here. We already got two MAT patients right there. Hannah Arms. See? Don't be ashamed. Nobody be ashamed 
of this disease. Because we're strong, we can beat the shit out of it. You know what I mean? It's 90% mental. If anybody needs to talk to me about anything, man, woman, female, whatever, you contact me, man. You know what I mean? I'll get you contacted with the the, 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 the QRT or the MAT, somebody, and no, your name will never be spoke. That's right, and I don't have nothing no more, never before, even nothing but the speak, truth to speak. You remember that. But I'm going to go ahead and get off of here and let you guys know. If you need any help, contact me, please. And I'll get you, you know what I mean, who you need to talk to in your town, everything. Your name will never be disclosed. Nothing like that. But you will seek treatment. And you can seek treatment inpatient, outpatient, whatever you need. You see what I mean? If one word tonight helped one person, my job's done. That's how I feel. You know what I mean? I get on here and I'll do these for, you know what I mean, an hour. It's like a, I'm going to start doing an NA group on here, you know, on my own little thing. Uh, just, you know, former addicts sitting here talking about each other, how we can overcome this and overcome that, things like that. I'm going to make a group just for that, you know. I, I'm t there'll never be a time when I turn back into my life where I'm drugged up. You know? so close to there I work out you know I never used to even work out anymore things like that but anybody wants to donate towards the new podcast or needs the podcast link contact me I don't say the peace pop feels nothing no more I hope everybody has a great holidays and a happy new year and stay off of drugs if you have any temptations contact me thank you